Schrodinger changed the world. He took us from a place where we thought we knew everything. And all there was to do was to be a bit more precise about the things that we already knew. But he changed the world and told us that there was a world which was entirely different to the one that we thought we inhabited. And it's the one that we're still studying. And so he's really at the core of the science that we do. It's really quite overwhelming for us to get that sort of recognition. And this is not only a thanks for having worked hard during my undergraduate studies, but it's also a, we have faith in you. We think that, that you can do something. So here, take this and, and go forward. And I think that that's a very powerful feeling that it gives you. It's, it makes you feel very strong to know that people actually support you and they want you to, to succeed. The Schrodinger Scholarship is the faculty's premier scholarship. It's for the very brightest people from around the world to come and study for PhDs with whoever they want to study with, to study whatever they want to study. It's not restricted in any kind of way. You just have to want to do really good science. The scholarship was very much attached to Imperial, which is more what drew me to apply, is that I really wanted to work at Imperial with the people I'm working with. What sets the scholarship apart from other scholarships for me is that it's spread across a lot of different departments. Every year there's one student from physics, one from chemistry, one from mathematics, and one from biology. So when we meet, I'm able to discuss with people at my, at my same skill level. It did make it possible to be in a great institution, first of all, studying with some of the most important professors in the world. And I think it really opened up my mind, and not just being in this type of university, but also being in a city like London. Being able to be exposed to this is absolutely priceless. To be a research scientist, it's quite different to what you might expect in that it's not the pleasure of knowing things that makes you a good research scientist. It's the pleasure in not knowing things. Great researchers are people who are not afraid to go into a dark room and find out what's in there. That's quite an interesting way of putting it. It's particularly funny for me because I spend half my days walking into a dark room to play with lasers, so it's quite literal. There's no guarantee in science, there's no guarantees that you're going to find the thing you're looking for and as you do have to, to keep driving yourself, be motivated to every day jump the hurdles and try and, and try and solve the problems. That's a nice way of putting it, that we're willing to you know, put ourselves out there and really try to, try to push the boundaries by, by really challenging ourselves and challenging the field. I think flexibility is one of the, in particular with the times that we are now, I think is fundamental. You cannot find something interesting and you can be, not be passionate about something if you're constrained. So this scholarship is about the scholars, the research that they do, in some way the byproduct of the scholarship, the person who gets generated by studying for the PhD, for exploring their own work, that is the primary product. And so it, it is an exercise in personal growth through the vehicle of doing science. And that does build, you know, the best possible product if you like to call people a product, people who can go on and become great, great scientists. It's valuable because it gives people opportunity. <laughs> uh, it gives people opportunity they otherwise wouldn't have, and it gives them to the people who they think are you know, the most qualified to have that opportunity. And I think that's, that's really what it comes down to in getting funding, it's just that you know, someone comes and gives you a once in a lifetime opportunity and to have received that, you know, I not only feel honored, but I feel like I have, I owe them, you know, my best work now. In order to solve the practical problems of the world, we need to have people who have been completely unencumbered in what they choose to study. Which one of those dark rooms do they go into? Those kinds of people are the kind of people who will be able to help us solve the problems of the world. If we spend all of our time being directed at the things that we think are a problem today, we won't solve the problems of tomorrow. And the freedom that this scholarship gives is to generate, as I said before, those really great scientists who really will solve the problems of the world.